So now, since we have covered all the five constraints like normal, unique, primary key, check and foreign key, in this video we'll see how can we manage a constraint. Means if a table is already created, then how can we add the constraint at the runtime? How we can view the constraint which is already added in a particular table? How to disable that? How to enable and how to drop a constraint? So let's see practically all these operations now. So for viewing the constraint which we have already created on a particular table for the particular columns, we have the data dictionary here called user constraints. Here in user constraints data dictionary, you can find some columns like constraint name, constraint type, table name, so that you can actually see what all constraints are available on a particular table. So here I'll do a very simple query like select. We will have a deeper discussion of select on select statement in our coming videos. But here I'm just showing you like how you can get the details. So for that here I will write a command like constraint underscore name comma constraint underscore type from user underscore constraint which is the view name all right where means I don't want to see all the uh, details I just want to see for my particular table named employees so where table underscore name is equal to employees all right make sure you are entering the table name in full caps so that you can check actually so here you can see like uh, the unique constraint for you primary key for C uh, relationship means the foreign key for R and the not null is also here as specified as the check constraint because it makes a check like the current details should not be a null so it will also be represented as a check constraint so check constraint for the first name and the gender which we have set it while implementing the uh, constraints in the employees table now if you want to check like on which particular column these constraints has been marked first of all if you will put the name logically it will be easy for you to understand the things like here you can just see the name of a constraint and you can check like okay it's for first name it's for email id it's for mobile number but if you haven't specified the name in that sense you can also have a look on that such particular uh, means column names in which you have applied this constraint and for that what you will have to do you will simply have to go for the user cons columns all right that is the data dictionary so here you can see this is a column name so it will be easier for you to get that so let's have a select statement for this so I will select constraint name and column name from user underscore cons underscore columns where table name is equal to employees all right so here you can see in dpt id it's a D employee dpt relation on the field gender it's gender check on emp id it's a primary key Similarly, on mobile number, it's mobile UN that is unique constraint. So in this way, you can have a look on such type of constraints. Now, after having a look on those things, if you want to uh, enable or disable a particular constraint, you can do that as well. Like for example, for a time being, I want to remove this check constraint from my employees table. So for that, what I'll have to do is I'll say alter table employees now disable constraint and then constraint name. So here you can see like it's EMP underscore gender underscore check. All right. So you see that is disabled and now 
since in this particular constraint i made sure like only m or f these two values will be allowed in the gender column but now since it is disabled you can uh, enter any particular character in that particular field but make sure before enabling you will have to make the data concurrent to this particular constraint means if while enabling this constraint if you have entered anything which is not acceptable by this constraint the it will not be enabled so here what i'll say i'll just say enable in order to enable this constraint i don't have to specify anything else but if you want to drop the constraint you can simply remove this enable or disable or here you can say drop constraint constraint name now you cannot enable it you will have to recreate the uh, check constraint as you did earlier while applying this check constraint in this employees table so this is how you can manage a constraint after you've already added the particular constraint on a table